Hey my beauties, welcome back. So for you guys today, I will be doing a collab with my girl Belen. She does have a YouTube channel, so I'll be putting her channel down below in the description box so you guys could follow her. And yeah, we'll be doing the highlighting tag, so just keep on watching. Mwah. Okay, so for the first question is best packaging. And I would have to say it's going to be the MAC. I think it's the prettiest out of all of the ones that I do have. And it's really, really pretty. I really do like the packaging. This was in the Nutcracker collection um, in December of last year. So, yeah. So, this is how it looks like. And as you guys could tell, I really don't use it because... This thing is expensive, so I only use it like for special occasions, like when I go out with family with the boo. So, yeah, let me start it for you guys. Oh, and it feels so creamy. So, how you guys been? How you guys been? Okay, so this is a swatch for this one. It's really, really pretty. And I think this one has the best packaging. Next question is best natural highlight. Um, I think it would be your own highlight. But unfortunately, I don't have that. You know, I know some girls that do have it. And props to you, boo. But I think for um, for a natural highlight, I will use the... Um, to get that natural highlight, I will use the J-Cat the J -Cat Glow Girl. And it's in the Moonlight. And it, this is new from their line i do own like three of them and i think this is the best one of out of all of them i think it's really really pretty really creamy you know let me show you guys i think i will use this to get like a natural highlight but i mean i think if you have your own natural highlight i think that's the best one so yeah uh, next question, what is the best going out intense highlighter? Now, I was looking for this highlighter for ever. Like, I couldn't find it. It was out of stock, always out of stock. And I finally did. And it was, like, hidden, like, behind some palettes. And it's it's the Revolution Vivid Bake Highlighter. And it's in the Golden Lights. Oh, my God. Like, everybody would rave about this. And I was like, you know, I need to jump in the battle wagon. So, I did. And I found it. And when I first, like, put it on myself, like, I was like, damn. Like, this is really intense. Like, you know? And I think it's more intense, like, when you add um, a cream highlighter and then this on top. Girl, you're going to blind somebody. But, yeah. I think this is really, really pretty. Really intense. So, yeah. Okay, so the next question is um, regret purchasing. I honestly do not regret none of my highlighters that I own. Just because, not because like, oh, you know, like they're popping. No, because I find a way like to work with them. You know, some are chalky. I'm not going to sit here like, oh, mines are like bomb. No, but I mean, I still work with them and I still rock them, you know. You would never know if it's chalky or not. So, yeah, I really don't regret none of them. A brand that you own the most, I would have to say, is One and Well. Like One and Well has been stepping up the game so much, like it's popping. So I own the new highlighters, the unicorn ones. I own both. Um, I also do own the Crown of Canopy and Precious Petals. I own those two. And then I do own the Wedding Wild the Fergie. Now, this is not in the line no more, but the name of it is Photo Bomb. And it's bomb. Like, it's really, really gorgeous. Like, let me swatch it so you guys can tell. And it's just one swipe. And you get that bo -bo So, yeah. So, I own this one. And then I also own the Cushion one. Now, I always use this first and then i use the the mega glow highlighting golden bar now this has been like my holy girl you know i use these two together so yeah so as you guys could tell like i own a lot of 
Wet n Wild. I do own the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. This was, was actually my first palette that I do that I had like when I started with highlights because homegirl here they didn't know about highlights and I would use this color right here. And then I do own the Wet n Wild Fergie and this is in the Hollywood Boulevard. It looks like this. This actually is still in the line, but it has a different name. It, I think it's a Boozy Branch or Boozy. I think it's Boozy Branch. And yeah. And they say that this is a dupe for the Champagne Pop. Um, so I don't own the other one, but I mean, yeah, so it's this one right here. Yeah, so the mostly that I do own is Wet n Wild. And I love it. It's affordable and I love it. Next question is um, most used. I would say hmm, Wet n Wild, hands down. And it, it will be these two. Like these are like right now. I just love them. They're, they're really affordable and I love them. Least used would be the city color one the highlight trio you know like i was super hyped because you know i was looking for them you know like oh my god like i really want that highlighting palette and when i got it like it's just been sitting there like collecting dust um i don't know i have to go through all my makeup to see like you know like i need to use some of the stuff and it's um this color i really like this color right here and i only swatched it so yeah yeah so this is the least one that i used okay so the most expensive highlighters that i do own is one of them is the maya carey and it was in the mac collection i think it was in the christmas one looks like this really really pretty as you guys can tell i really don't use it a lot just because it's a little bit um dark for my skin tone but i do use it as an eyeshadow or right now that um the summer is here so i know i'll, I'll get tan so i can use that as well little bronze and here's a swatch for this one really really pretty and it's in my mimi so yes the next one that i do own is the laura geller and it's in the Glided Honey. Why can't I not open these? So when I received this, like, I was hella using this, like, nonstop. Like, it's really, really pretty. And I really don't use these, like, an everyday thing just because they can get, they're expensive. So, you know, just as special occasions. Here's a swatch for this one. And then the last one is obviously MAC. Um, it, this one is the Nutcracker Sweet Peach Face Compact. It's really, really pretty. And I really don't use this one either. Not even the, like the blush because I don't, want, I don't want it to finish. No quiero que se acabe. Yeah. So this is the swatches. So those are the most expensive highlighters and the least um, expensive highlighters that I do own. Obviously, I'm going to be raving about the Wet n Wild. I do own like about six or eight of them. So yes, these are the least and they, these are really, really amazing. Like their pigmentation is like on point. I really like this one. Let me swatch it. You know, what's this one? right here it's really really pretty and i like it and you know you don't have to buy like something expensive so you can get your highlight popping you can do it with yeast especially when wild because you know i've been saying when and wild has been stepping up the game so yeah hopefully you guys like these type of videos you know to get a glance of my highlighters that i do use i don't use you know because some of these i do use them for special occasion and the other one are just like a regular daily basis or none at all so yeah hope you guys do go check out my girl's video you know she is really really sweet so down to earth really humble um i did meet her when i went to generation beauty with my girl 
Connie and it was just an amazing time I got to meet her and ever since then we clicked and we talked like in daily basis you know I know she has her thing going on in my too so yeah she's really really sweet and just so chill so hopefully you guys do go give her a big follow and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye mm.